Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, as in heaven, so in earth. Give us day by day our daily bread, and forgive us our sins, for we also forgive everyone that is indebted to us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. These words of Jesus are commonly referred to as the Lord's Prayer. The reality of it is, though, that this isn't really a prayer at all that, that God expects us to recite. In fact, what it is, is Jesus' instruction to his disciples on how we should address the Father. What kind of things should we be praying for? You see, Jesus had just finished praying, Luke 11 and verse 1, and one of his disciples came to him and asked him to teach them to pray, even as John the Baptist had taught his disciples to pray. And so Jesus gives them some instruction here on how to make sure their prayer life is meaningful and acceptable to God. Oftentimes I'll have people come to me concerned about their prayer life, that they're struggling with how to pray. And I think if we were to take some time and just consider Jesus' words here for a moment, it would help us. Notice, first of all, he says that we are to address the Father, and we are to do so with reverence. Hallowed here means to be sacred, to set apart as holy. The Father is to be addressed, and he is to be addressed with great reverence. He says, secondly, we are to pray for the kingdom. The overall realm of God, this would include the church, but it would also include all the spiritual realm over which God has control. We should also pray for his will to be done and not our own. James in James chapter 4 and verse 15 tells us that when we pray, we ought to pray if it is the Lord's will, we should do this or that. He says, number four, that we should pray for the physical blessings of this life. God has allowed the sun and the rain to descend on both the evil and the good. God blesses us all physically. And if that's true, we should also be ever mindful of the spiritual blessings that we have in Christ Jesus when we address God in prayer. And number five, he says, pray for forgiveness. You see, when our time comes to stand before God in judgment, it's not justice we want. What we want is God's forgiveness, his grace and his mercy. And if we expect to have God's grace, mercy, love, and forgiveness, then we need to express those same attributes to those who are indebted to us. I think if you will consider the Lord's Prayer in a new way and look at this as instruction and think about how you can add these specific things to your prayer life, it will bless you and it will encourage you to be more faithful in your prayer life. To find out more about the Lord's Church in New Albany, Mississippi, we would invite you to visit our website at www.nacoc.us. You can visit our Facebook page, like us and follow us there. You can also subscribe and like our YouTube page where you can be informed of all of the things that are going on. You can be up to date with Tim's Two Minutes. You can be uh, up to date and you can follow our live stream Bible classes and worship services. And as always, if you're in the New Albany, Mississippi area, we would be honored to have you come and study and worship with us. If there's something that we can do to encourage you, to help you, to love you, won't you please reach out to us? May God bless you.